Hello everyone, I'm Sandy Anastasi, Psychic Channel, Intuitive Astrologer, and Soul Coach, and I'm here with my editorial video blog for March of 2021. I want to talk to you today about the problem with free will. All the way back to the Bible and many philosophical works as well, the concept of free will has been hot, especially regarding humankind. After all, supposedly it was man's free will that set him apart from the rest of the animals here on our planet Earth. So it's generally accepted that we were given free will right from the very beginning. My question is, have we been using it? Have you been using it? I don't think so. Some time ago, I realized that very, very few people actually think and act independently, exercising their own free will. I often see teens and young men and women rejecting their families' expectations and even doing the opposite of what their parents want for them. But is that really exercising free will? Or is that simply acting out against authority? Inevitably, if a person is merely in revolt against authority, they eventually produce, in some fashion, the exact life that they were conditioned to live. Resisting something by creating its opposite has absolutely nothing to do with free will. It's merely a childish, emotional reaction. We humans need to grow up in order to finally access our free will and, my friends, truly become free. So how does one learn to access this free will we're all supposed to have? I can tell you straight away that free will accepts all choices. It's okay to follow in your parents' footsteps or to reject your family's way of life and expectations for you and of you. It's okay to step outside the box and find your own path too. It's okay to borrow ideas and life scenarios from a friend that you admire or from a religion or an organization whose beliefs you uphold. Yes, all of these things are okay to do, provided you are conscious about what you are embracing and following and implementing in your own life. If you're not, it is not your own free will that you're following. Rather, you're being led and in some cases even brainwashed into living a life someone else planned for you. Be wary of anyone who attempts to force you to their way of thinking and acting and believing. Inevitably, it is not your best interest they have in mind. You see, most people unconsciously avoid exercising their own free will. They really do. Most people actually are happy to have someone else stand before them and say, do what I say and you will be happy. If it's so much easier to follow orders and never have to assume the responsibility or perhaps the blame if things don't work out. It takes strength, personal strength to know what your own will is, to face it, come to terms with it, and to follow it and implement it. 
following other people's directions is easy. Why would I do that, you might say? It's because once you begin to exert your own free will, you see, you're really putting yourself out there without a safety net. You have to be self-responsible. Self-responsibility is required if you are going to exercise your own free will. You're saying, this is my choice. I cannot blame it on anyone. I am not reacting to anyone or anything. I am not following anyone else's orders. I am now taking actions based on my own conscious emotional responses, free from the knee-jerk reactions that I once may have had to the people and events around me. I am not taking the easy and unconscious path by following the herd. I am no longer blocked or locked into the generations of family behavioral patterns that would help me to find acceptance, whether they are right or wrong for me. I am no longer allowing my actions to be controlled by any other person, whether that person control is exerted through love, caring, and sharing, or through withholding or criticism. It doesn't matter anymore. When I live my life from a new point of freedom, embracing my free will, I will accept that I may be the black sheep. I may be ostracized from my family and loved ones. I may not be understood, but I will be living my life as a fully conscious being, constantly aware that each next step in my life is my own to take. I may listen to the viewpoints of others. Matter of fact, that's a great idea. I may observe the success of, of others and learn from them. I might learn from their failures as well. But when I make my own choices, those choices will be my own conscious decisions. And I will be fully responsible for them, knowing that they are my own. In my choices, I am free. I am free to succeed, free to evolve, free to grow or to step back. So long as all I do, everything I do, is the result of my own conscious choice, I am free. This month, I'm celebrating your free will and your freedom. The most beautiful thing is that once you step into accepting your free will, there are absolutely no limits to what you, yes you, can achieve. The only limits going forward will be those that you set upon yourself. Thank you for staying to the end and listening to my thoughts. I'm Sandy Anastasi. You can find out more about me by visiting my website right here online. I'm at www.sandyanastasi.com. I have a free newsletter. You might want to sign up for that. I do a free psychic hour monthly. My next one is coming up soon, so please check that. And I have tons of educational audios and videos on my website that you may want to check out, including a absolutely wonderful VIP membership area for people like you who want to study and have discussions like this. Thanks so much for being here today. Bye now. I'll see you next month.